last time we did a drag a, a podcast in full drag. You know, I, I mean, don't. To be fair, if I'm being fully honest, because we're not in full drag because we're both wearing sweatpants. That's the real tea. Why you gotta tell everybody my business? T- 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 worry about you. Don't bring me into it. Worry about you. We're in that. We're in that. We're in that. RuPaul ju- uh, Judge Judge panel, right? <laughs> I was just watching it. I was just watching <laughs> the Utica roast the other day. It was honestly in. Oh no, she wasn't wearing nails, wasn't she? No, 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 no. You, you, you tell her RuPaul. You know, but you're, she also wasn't wearing nails. Yeah, yeah. You know, as a fashion icon, would you stand up, please? And RuPaul goes. <laughs> honestly, Utica, the, it do take nerve. It takes yeah. nerve. Do you remember that? Yeah, it's calling Lonnie, Lonnie a whale. You're the one bombing. Oh, that was so good. Utica, honestly, iconic. So we haven't done a, dra- a podcast in full drag in a really long time. Oh. And we have not been side by side since we were at your house maybe a month and a half ago. When you came back from, where did you, oh, when you came back from filming Traders? Mm, was that the Traders? No, that was way after that. Oh. That was, I think it was just random. Traders was around like. Chin. Yeah, after you, yeah, around your birthday. Anyway, and then so, one of the, are you tired, nigga? Do you need to go take a nap? You're boring me. Whatever. I'm bored. Bitch, the boar worms. Not the boar worms. <laughs> Which I still don't know what the fuck boar worms are. It's from a movie where, where the worms are boring under the earth or something. Someone finally posted the clip of not the boar worms. Got it. So, um, it, it there, it's like a fiction fantasy movie, and the villain has like the lead woman trapped in his basement, and he wants something from her. I'm not sure what, and he's like. She'll submit, bring out the boar worms. Got it. And then she's like, not the boar worms. And then I, I saw someone, I saw today someone posted the clip. Uh, maybe they heard me being like, what the fuck is the boar worms? And then they like finally posted like the, the clip of the boar worms. Have you ever seen Tremors with Kevin Bacon? No. It's a movie. It's like a. Earthquake uh, movie. Kind of. Are, are, are you guessing? Or are you I, seeing? I was, I was just guessing. By the Tremors. Yeah. Yeah, no. If they're these like these big boar worms that live under the thing and they're like going through this like little town ravishing it. Oh, and they, they thought it was earthquakes. And it, yeah, they thought it was earthquakes and then they come and they like eat people and stuff. It's a, such a good. Reba McIntyre's in that movie. I wonder if the, if the, uh, what, what do they call the, the worms from Beetlejuice? Worms? I don't know. They have like a name, don't they? Sandworms? Or sandworms. Sandworms. I think. Sim- they're similar to sandworm looking. Have you seen the new Beetlejuice? No. I would like to go see it. When was he? You know, Michael Keaton is barely in the old Beetlejuice. You told us he's only it, 17 minutes 17 screen minutes. time in, a, in, a, in an almost two hour movie. But he has, his, I mean, is but it's also named after him. So he ha- he has such a big impact on the, what the movie is because it's named after his character. Yeah, he, he he plays the title character. He plays the titular The titular. Character. Oh my gosh, someone went to English school. I did not. <laughs> I went to school and learned English, but I did not go to well, English in theory, school. Don't, don't we all go to English school? Because we take English, we, you take English every year until you go to college. Why well, I just imagine it would be like acting school, like a school for acting or a school that specializes in that. That's what I was thinking English school would be. Well, I also, wait, you, you were talking about something else. I was like, oh, I want to tell you this thing. And I forgot. Oh, my God. The I, boar worms. No. Michael Keaton. No. Sand worms. No, it's Going gone. to see a movie. It's gone, girl. It's gone. Gone, gone, girl. Who's that? SZA. Don't do anything that's going to piss me off. Do not do anything that'll piss me off about my girl. Um, don't, don't do it. No. Anyway, <laughs> you are so no. annoying. No. I, hey, so the shout out to you, by the way. I'm, I'm a big fan. She is. I, mean, I am I, a fan. I, I was a big fan. I'm a fan, though. Everyone knows I'm a so huge I fan. So I had a moment that happened uh, one time at the at this Emmy party. Today, there's an Emmy party. Are we going to go? I don't know. We'll see. Let's go in these looks. Oh, I'm not going to drag. <laughs> I'm not going to drag. That, I'm not, that, you got, I'm out. Oh, I remember now. I got to say it now. Go ahead. The last, uh, one of the last podcasts we did in drag. Well, not one of the last ones. One of my favorite ones was when. makeup on this garment. Oh, shit. Did I get a makeup on? That's fine. If it is. We can just get a drag line. Oh, sorry. Um, one of my favorite times that we did make him drag, you were, you had moved to LA. I was still living in New York and we we're doing, we got, did an episode together in drag and you were still living at Zach's place. And then you had a similar do like this and you're like, Monet, so is that way you even glued down? I was like, no, girl. He's oh like, my God, that <laughs> sent me. He's like, so that just on your head. I was like, yes, bitch. Boop. Also today when I went to go tie my hair up, Monet was like, why are you doing that? I was like, Monet, I, I always wear a head wrap. Okay. Like, I always? always it, it, I did it. Not, I mean, I do it a lot. Like, okay. It, thank are, you. There are a lot of pictures of me with a head wrap. In the video that you're talking about, I have my hair wrapped up. A lot is not always, though. But and not, and that, is, you know, that, that is a very Bob the Drag Queen thing. I'm like, Bob, I always do this. Monet, always. And I, look how quickly I conceded it. Look how quickly I conceded that. that, uh, that Jacob and I on the fence. Jacob is smiling about that because he know his man. I conceded. I said, you're right. Not always. Mm-hmm. But I wear it a lot. You're like, what are you doing? I was like, Monet, you know what I'm doing. You've seen me with my hair wrapped up. Well, because, well, I guess when you do wrap your hair up, I'm not realizing, like, because you take... 
well, I see what you did. Like, you take time. Because I'm like, why are you gluing your head and then wrapping your head? But you, you're still showing the lace. So that yeah, yeah sense. I, still, I still show lace. Got it. Not the lace worms. Um, now, what was I talking about right before you... <laughs> Did your thing. <laughs> you should do it. I see. Oh, this so works. I it works. You remember when you yeah, did it. Yeah, I went to an Emmys party one time and mm. Law Roach was there. And I was like, oh my God, Law. And we were like, Kiki in and saying, hey girl, hey girl. And then he was like, he was there with Zendaya. Mm -hmm. And he was like, do you want to meet her? Now, here's the thing. I was like, you know what? I'm actually good. And only because there was a really long line to, to meet, meet her. her. And I don't really like watch, I don't watch Euphor Euphoria. Mm -hmm. I, I saw Spider Man and I like, I saw Greatest Showman, but I feel like there are people who are like really, really big fans who deserve to that spot in line. And I would get there and be like, hey, like, but I can't even be like, I'm a huge fan of your work. I can't even be like, I've seen all of your, like, what would I say? I, I, I was, because she had won the Emmy that night. I, was, I could say congratulations. What did she win the Emmy for, for Euphoria? I think, I think it was Euphoria. Word. I could go say congratulations, yeah. but outside of that, I would, I mean... And she, she doesn't know who I am. Why does she need me you to walk up? You don't know that. And, you don't know she, she watched the Drag Race. You're right. I don't know that. But does she need me to walk up and be like, congratulations? Honestly, sometimes there are certain celebrities that if I met them, I would I would be gagged that they knew who I was. I would be like, oh my God, this is so cool that you know who <laughs> I am. Do you know what gagged me? Some Jesus more Christ. follows me on Instagram. Oh my God, some more. I was talking to Amber about... Uh, Amber. Wallen. Uh-huh. About... Uh, dressing up for a stand-up. Like, cause she gets dressed up and I get dressed up. Even when I'm out of drag, I still dress nice when I do my stand-up. And um, and then we were talking about how Samore always dresses up. We were sending back some pictures of Samore. And then I just went to her Instagram and it said, I was like, this is, I DM her and I said, Samore, oh my God. Like you follow me on Instagram? That's and she says, I'm like, of course. I was, that was, y'all, you don't know how much that blew my Mine. That's fair. That means, that means she's seen a lot of material and she's like, this bitch is funny. Oh, okay, that, are, you gonna, are you gonna cry? I, I mean, I, I don't, oh, my little baby, I love it that. It was just crazy. I was really good. No, that's fair. Because Samora, I'm a huge, huge, I've done her, I've lip synced mm -hmm. to Samora's voice for years. Oh, and I love Queens of Comedy. It was a really great. Honestly, Queens of Comedy is so much better than Kings of Comedy. Yeah. Oh, but but, but, but well, do we think that because we're just faggots? Maybe. I think we're the target audience. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm a whole bunch of straight dudes out there be like, nah, man, the Queens of Comedy, but in the Kings Comedy, man. Do you man. have any parts of Queens of Comedy that stood out to you in your mind? Oh, my God. A lot of the some more bits. Um, I love when Adele's walking down the street, she goes, uh, uh, Alexis. Is, is this where they sell the pussy? Oh. Am I on a whole stroke? Am I a hoe? <laughs> <laughs> my girl is, is a dumb one. She like, um, you... You naming your daughter Portia when she looked like a Buick. Yeah, she like a Buick. Name Alexis. Alexis. She looked like a Buick. A Buick. And yeah. then the one where um where um the host sticks off the wig. Miss Laura. Miss Laura. That is a really good bit for me. And also uh Monique having all the as the president having all the men on their knees to eat her pussy. Yes, so good. Queens of Comedy is so good. Wait, was was Queen, was was Queens of Comedy was, was one where someone goes? I know it was one big dick mother in the back, big dick motherfucking in the back like lock the door. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That that is Queens of Comedy. Because I, I, I watched so much of her stuff I can't remember yeah that, but oh what a great what a great film so that was a really big moment for me like yesterday just yesterday oh yesterday yeah me and Amber went to I did uh I did a show at the Elysian oh here in LA you did you, you did you did stand up yesterday mm-hmm just like a, just like like 14 minutes like 20 minutes or so oh that's at someone else's show yes yes got yes. it and, and Amber was on the bill as well no Amber was just we we're just hanging out Got it. I love Emma Wallen. She's fun. She. I went over to her house. Her husband. Oh, we, we talked about this already. But her husband's really trying to uh, get in these boomerang food streets. Oh, he wants like. Is he good? He's decent. Him and Camion were the ones winning last night. Camion has gotten really good at boomerang food. Really? Yes. Well, he wasn't at my house, so Camion, if you want, if you gonna bring that smoke, come and do it at my. I'm, I'm, I'm almost at my address. Come and do it at my house, bitch. You know, Camion is, he was, also, he started laughing when he killed people laughing. <laughs> that is some straight. Like, ah, ah, ah. I was like, that oh is That God. is so straight. Honestly, you know what? <laughs> the, 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 the apple don't fall, fall too far from the uncle. I said, oh my God. This is a, this is a very uh, Bob the Drag Queen behavior. Laughing and maniacally killing people in the video game. No, they don't, you don't kill them. You just chop them up. <laughs> you just break. We, we should do a Boomerang Food live stream. I'll be so down. I just gotta I gotta bring my my switch over here. We I can bring honestly my switch here. We, so, we have a switch to the house. Jacob, we can leave Jacob's switch to the house, and I can bring my switch here. You know, Jacob's like nigga, you're not using my switch to the house. Jacob does. <laughs> I want to making that face. Uh, I want to start streaming too, and like my because when I do like stuff in my space, I might I just like to have two. You still of, use my space. I like to have two of everything because I don't want to have to break something down or whatever. So I would have to like buy a second PS5. Uh, uh, 
Money, money, money must be funny What's in a that? rich girl's uh, world. Brrr. You did some interpolation that I didn't even know. I don't even know, bitch. It was you made it a brand new song. And you, yeah, and that takes skill. Was it? What is intentional? Yeah, no, it was not. No, because I know the song goes money, 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 and I went money, money, money. <laughs> <laughs> Must be funny in a rich man's world. Be de dee ba da ba da bow. <laughs> oh All right, let's God. do a quick name songs with money. Um, let's oh. let, we have to sing a song with money in it back and forth until no one can do it again. Bitch, but I have my money. Money makes the world go around. The world go around. The world go around. Um, money, honey by Lady Gaga. Sing it. You have to sing it. Oh, um, um. Um, damn, I love the girls and the gifts and attention. Um, how about, um, uh, um, all my life I had to grind and hustle. I had to work like Kobe just, just to, to shine like, like Russell. Russell. Um, um. My bitches all bad. My niggas all real. Ride his dick. It's a big good. tall heels. Big fat checks. This big is, large bills. This is like the fucking Terrell Grice show. And I'm like, and I. I watch the show and I'm like, oh my God, it's just a world of money. Come on. Well, I just saw this. <sighs> oh, you exactly where it was. I just saw this, um, this, uh, this app, not app, filter on TikTok, uh -huh. where you look into the filter and you have to sing a song with that word. And maybe we can see if we can do that before this break. Okay, so the filter gives you... And there, a word shows up above your head. How many videos do you think are in your favorites? In my likes? I, I can't... So I, <laughs> I, I like videos when I want to go back and watch them. Right. And then then they're just they're just lost in the... They're just lost. Yeah. Like, I, it's too far back at that point. Okay, so it's called... Oh, no, you have to buy the game. Yeah, and, girl, oh. and how are we going to put it on the screen? It's going to be a whole thing. No, I could have... It's a TikTok. I can just put it on the screen. Oh. But I thought I had to... Oh, you have to buy the game. Wait. Drunk lyrics is a game. Wait, but it's just give you a random word. Wait, is it on the? Is this an actual game? They have a, a filter. Good for them. Really All right, give us a word, Jacob. Ready? In the game is you have five seconds to sing a song. Okay, with the this word. is it. We are we are we are taking Terrell's think, game. Uh, um, word, this is not our game, by the way. Yeah. So, uh, some rules clarification. Um, word in the title or word in the song. You have to just either you have to sing the part of the song with that word. Yeah, yeah. And can it does it have to be that exact word or can it be uh, the like exact, exact word. word? Yeah. So if the word is like uh rain, it can't be you can't be something about raining on me. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Your word. And he, then, who goes first? Just, so who's first? Uh rock, rock paper scissors. Rock paper scissors. Three, go. Uh we had to gotta do uh, uh, one, one, two, three, go. go. All right. You go first, bitch. So then it's your job to count to five. Okay. Once Jacob says the word. Okay. All right. The word is dance. One. Just two. dance. Gonna be okay. I mean, da -da 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 -da. y'all see how they be conniving and scheming right against me? Okay. Oh, we're, we're doing different words every time? Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Um, Love. One, love two. never knew what I was missing, but, but I knew that I start kissing. I found love. Right. Wait, see if you can harmonize. You do it. I'll harmonize with you. But Wait, keep the note. The, am I singing? You sing the melody. Yes. Love, love never knew what I was missing. <laughs> You messed up. <laughs> well, because you... Okay, do it again. Love, love never knew what I was missing. You're not harmonizing. I am. I'm going under you. Oh, I'm moving up and down. I ate. <laughs> well, you kept the melody. How hard is that? Funny how the very first sin was a woman who ate. <laughs> a woman who ate. She served and licked the plates. All, All right. right. Bob, your word is America. Count, bitch. One. Baby, two. I, am I was America. literally, I was like, you better sing I'm that song. I'm strange <laughs> just like you. All right, Monet, your word is flag. One. Two. Because my flag red, because my flag real, my flag Four. is the big toe deal. <laughs> what? That's not. That is my a bitch is all bad. My niggas no, all it's real. A, it's a separate Run. song. You are okay. Lying. He's a grand old flag. She's a high flying. But you flag. didn't do it in the five seconds. Well, you you stop counting, so you, we don't know the five seconds. No, we we know. <laughs> I'm the victor. My my new drag name is Victor. Victor the drag queen. <laughs> Victor Reed. Right, let's, let's take a break. Then. Is there a drag queen named Victoria? Should be. That's a good drag name. Are right, we taking a break? 
All right, so real quick before we get into our topic today, what? I want to say that I think I was driving today to work, and I think Elantra is a good drag name. Elantra, like a like a, like a, like a Hyundai Elantra. Yeah, Elantra is a great drag name. Why make what? Like, why is it a great drag name? Ladies and please welcome to the stage, Elantra Dupree. Ladies and gentlemen, please get ready for the ten dancing toes of Elantra Balenciaga. <laughs> not the ten I think dancing of toes. all the names of cars, and I mean models, not makes, but uh-huh. the model. That's the best one. Elantra. Ah, uh, Jetta is fierce. Kia Sorento. Ooh, Jetta. Jetta. I Jetta like Dupree. <laughs> Jetta Balenciaga. Ooh. What'd you say, Jacob? Kia Sorento. Sorento. Kia Sorento. That's good. Ooh, Sorento Balenciaga. That's good. That's good. Yeah, we need to bring in car names. Okay. Prius. <laughs> there was a Prius. Prius Balenciaga. Prius. Prius. Uh, pre- uh, no, anyway. Rents Prius. Who, who rents Prius? Someone in politics. Like a bad person, I believe. Jake, can you look at well, Rents Prius? You, did, let's not, because last time you confused uh, uh, Herschel, uh, Walker Herschel Walker and Raphael Warnock. <laughs> he DM'd me. He was really upset about that. Anyway, you remember that? You remember that that from your good state of Georgia, the one the great state of Georgia, yeah, well, the one that saved us in the last election. Remember that? Okay, but remember this: one of y'all little um, the Google, I, I don't know, one of your people, the one that they found on meth in that bathroom. That was Atl- that was DC. No, it was Atlanta. Was Mary Berry? No, it was not Mary. It was like the guy in or Atlanta. Marion Berry was his name, right? No, it wasn't him. It was somebody else in Atlanta? They found him with his whores. On meth, pissed himself on the bathroom floor. So you don't think that people, you don't think people should hire sex workers? No, he was not a sex worker. But you, you said whores. Okay, I didn't mean that in a derogatory in a negative but, way. So you support sex workers? Absolutely. Honestly, I'm trying to think about it. Like I'm trying to think if there's a world that I could be a sex worker, and I don't know. I really don't know. Like I like having sex. Sex is fun. But also, as I've gotten older, I'm, I'm having less sex. So if I had to do, if I had to depend on me having sex right now, I, I don't know. I don't think you'd be a good sex worker. The other day, you said that you think that sex shouldn't last more than 15 minutes. No <laughs> one's paying for 15 minutes of sex. You have to Honey. Do, you have to turn stunts and shows. You've never dipped into this honey well, baby. Okay? All you need is 15 minutes with me, baby. Honey, we, we, first of all, people are paying by the hour. And most <laughs> sex workers have a two-hour minimum. Okay, well, if I if, if it was my job, I would do it like, what, for, for funsies? No, I don't want to do longer than 15 minutes. But if it was my job, bitch, I'll do it as long as I need to do it. What are you charging? Um, well, it depends on what server. What, what, okay, you, 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 you. I want a date. Answered my, my, my back I want page. a date. A date. I want to go to the, I want to go to the movies. Okay. And then I want to drive back to my place. Uh-huh. And then I want all the stuff that goes to sex. I want uh, oral, anal, and I want to cuddle. And I want you to leave in the morning. Am I topping or bottoming? Bottoming. And okay. leaving in the morning. And leaving in the morning. So, so I stay, stay overnight. overnight. Oh, you're looking at five racks for sure. And I want you to make me breakfast. Six racks. Anything else? A la, a la carte, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Bring a friend. <laughs> Bring a friend. Bring a friend. <laughs> you know, me and Thorgy were going to be sex workers together. Really? Like, the whole thing. We were going to be. Uh, we were going to be um, dominatrixes together. I remember you telling me about so dominatrixes. Che- Cheyenne Picardo, who used to be a dominatrix, oh, who yes. uh, who uh, directed my uh, Bloodbath music video. Um and a music video that I was in. She directed my um Strange Fruit music video. And um shout out to Cheyenne Picardo, by the way. Um anyway, um she was gonna she was like people would pay a lot of money for like a big clown lady. Really? Especially then why don't you do them. it? We, we got on Drag Race the next year. Okay, so you okay, you mean to tell me there is a multiverse that if you did not get on Drag Race, you would be a dominatrix. Yeah. Screaming. And the multiverse of madness. So, Monet, let's talk about this multiverse. Y'all, when Bob has nails on, he is, he is, uh, you are out of control with nails this on. This is also me with long, this is why I don't wear my hair down, because I'm always, <laughs> you ever see me with my braids? I can't, I can't Those little, little tiny ones, you were always adjusting them, pulling them off. I just washed those. Oh, work. Just the other day. They, um, were, they, were, <laughs> they were not fresh. Well, you know, you had, you had it for a long time. What it was was I had finished the show, but I had to leave immediately, so I packed them away, but they were still sweaty. Mm. And I was like, ugh, but I had to leave. Like, um, It was like one of those early, early flights, so I yeah. couldn't even leave my stuff out. Yeah. So I just packed it away, and then I just came home, I just came in, and I washed it here in the office. <laughs> or this time, I don't like the same office, the studio. Why did you check office? It's stuffy. An office feels stuffy? Yeah, stuffy. This is a studio. <laughs> okay, work. We're in, we're in the studio. Um. So we are talking about all things presidential today. And this entire 
campaign from both these candidates and the absolute madness. I feel bad for people who this is their first election because they think this is what an election is. Yeah. They think this is what politics is. Yeah. I mean, this is a particular, especially people from foreign countries watching us. This, I think that we are, we are at the height of just the ridiculosity of what our politics are. And I think it only started in 2016. 2016 was the descent of our political system. If it just being messy and name calling and just fucking weird. Like before that, I mean, I only started, I think the, the first election I'm conscious of is, Obama's first term because for Bush I couldn't vote I didn't really care and I was some young teen but Obama was when I started to so like oh like I should care about this I should know what's going on I, I think I said that my first vote was for uh, Al Gore that's not true that was the year before I could vote it was actually John Kerry my first vote that I ever cast was for John Kerry against Bush. Um, George Bush you know that is the first that is the only that's the first election not the first election. I don't know if it was the first but where the Republican won the popular vote George Bush won a popular vote that's here over John Kerry. But over he the, lost it to Al Gore. Al Gore yeah, won the popular vote. Yeah. But imagine but, like But he won the popular vote and he won the presidency. Yeah. No, I don't, I don't know if that's true. It is true. Check Jacob, fact check me. But um Kerry versus Bush, Bush won the popular vote. Because I feel like I feel like Al Gore was the first time that a president won the popular vote and didn't win the presidency. I feel like Al Gore is the first person to win the popular vote, but not win the presidency. But I might, I might be wrong. But I just remember learning what a popular vote was because of Al Gore. Al Gore is the reason I just like some of y'all Gen Zs know what a popular vote is because of Hillary Clinton. I found out what a popular vote Al was Gore. because of Al Gore. No, because John Kerry was such a. I mean, no shade. Also, as a reminder, we might be wrong. Feel free to fact check us. You can always me and Monet are not historians. We are not. Uh, we we're not. Uh, we're not professors of civics. I mean, looking at this, uh, Bush versus Kerry. Bush had more had the popular vote. Over yeah, Kerry. yeah, he had. A, he had. You know what I'm saying? But no, no, Al Gore no, before that. No though. Republican ever won a popular vote before that. I'm not saying. I'm not saying it before. I I, I I redacted that. I was just saying that Bush won the popular vote, and it was like it was a big thing that. But he won the popular vote and the presidency, though. Like he won the whole thing. Yeah, but normally, like 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 Trump, he won the the electoral college, but he did not win the popular vote. Yeah, which is what happened with Al Gore and George Bush the year before Kerry. No, because Al Gore had the popular vote. Bush won the Electoral College. Yes, no, no. So what happened with, um? okay, Hillary and Trump is the same thing as Al Gore and, and Bush. Bush. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But John Kerry is different than somehow. But John Kerry did not win the popular vote. Yeah. I mean, yeah, my, yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, looking at just past ones, Reagan also won the popular vote. Yeah, I think I think a lot of winning, winning. I think it's very rare. It's it's actually very rare to get the popular vote and not win the White House. It is very rare. Mm. And I know, for example, medium rare. I know for sure it happened with. Uh, I'm sorry, let me let me speak clearly. It is very rare to win the popular vote and not win the White House. That's what I'm going to say. It's very rare to get the popular vote and not win the White House. So Al Gore and Hillary Clinton are the only two that I know of who got more votes but did not win the way. And if you don't know, the popular vote means you just literally have more votes. Yes. But you don't win in the Electoral College. And for anyone who doesn't understand that, like every every state has a certain number of uh, votes that they get in the Electoral College based on their population. So even if you can get 51% of the people in California to vote for you, you will still win all of the Electoral College. College. But California is massive, right? California is the most populated state in America, right? But then if you get uh, 100%, Montana. 100% of Montana... You get like three. Well, Montana's less than a million people, though. That's so crazy. The whole... I mean, Montana might be right at a million. Isn't that crazy? The whole state. I need to find out the, the population of Montana. It is, <laughs> it's going to blow your mind. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. What's the, popu- what's the population of Montana? 1.1 1. 1 million people. But how big is the state? Massive. Yeah, Montana's a big Montana state. Montana is humongous. Have you ever been to Montana? Yes. Yeah, we talked about this before. I've been to Billings, Montana. I've been to so Missoula. What for, for you doing your children's theater? Yeah, I've been to Missoula, Montana. Um, and I must have been somewhere else. I must Got have done it. Dragon, Montana at some point. It is the fourth biggest state. The yeah. fourth biggest state. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's Work. gigantic. I think Alaska's the biggest. Mm-hmm. Then Texas, mm-hmm. California, mm-hmm. Montana. Mm-hmm. That was it. impressive. I, I need you to acknowledge that was very impressive. I would like It was to impressive, that. Bob. Thank you. That feels nice to be validated. <laughs> and the mean- smallest state is Rhode Island. Um, the smallest state is Rhode Island. I, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. And they have, but they have more popular votes and more electoral college than Montana. The fact that Montana has, but it's not, the, it's not the least populated state though. I know. The least populated North state is South Wyoming. Both have less. I think it's Alaska. Is it Wyoming? I think it's Wyoming, actually. Hey, Google, what is the least populated state in America? 
Wyoming. Oh my God, how many people live there? Killed that is it. very impressive that you knew that. Thank you. <laughs> I knew. I knew we were, oh, wait, you planted the ceiling in black. That's nice. Thank you. Oh, wow. Your space is really coming together. Your your studio is really coming Thank together. Thank you. And that is not an office. It's, it's not. A, it's there's a an studio. office in the studio. <laughs> um, you are so annoying. What is the population of Wyoming? Oh, my God. We do the population game every couple of months. 500. 581,000. Damn. That's wild that is crazy i gotta do one more what's the population of weho like i gotta know like are there, are there more people in weho than there are for in... sure oh no what's the population of west hollywood no Thirty-four thousand. yeah, yeah not no, even no, close. Not close literally not close. not close but i mean probably there's more people to live in uh in, in brooklyn for yeah, sure 100 percent. yeah 100%. Oh, what about staten island Ooh, i want to say staten island population is three hundred thousand. 42,000. Staten Island? No, sorry, 42, four, uh, 400,000. Oh, okay. Almost. Well, almost 500,000. Um, yeah, so I, we kind of talked about this when we were doing Palette. I have no aspirations to hold or run for any political office. So I bowed on to people like maybe a girl who is from California who has run for political office. Marty Gould Cummings has run for political office. Honey and Mahogany. Honey Mahogany has. And so it takes a lot, but like Auntie has aspirations of being in political office. I'm like, which. I cannot be nobody's first anything. And Andrew Short. Andrew Short wants to run for politics one day. I have the dirt. <laughs> Andy, if you ever try to run, honey. <laughs> like, imagine if I had to, like, be behind. And be, bitch, they will, they will, they, they'll pull up my Instagram like, this This you? Is this your partner? Twerking it, twerking it in the ocean. <laughs> I mean, Melania Trump has really broken a lot of barriers for that you That is already. true. Titties out. That is true. Yeah, she was, she she posed for Playboy. I don't know who she posed for. It was I think it was GQ. GQ. Titties out. Yeah, so I mean, Melania can do it. I could do it. I, if I was if I was going to be a first lady, uh, sorry, a first gentleman, I would want to be like a sexy one. I want to be one that's fierce. I feel like first people are typically pretty like fashionable and you, I guess I'm just thinking about well, it, Michelle and Melania. Say, would you say Jill Biden is fashionable? I don't think she's like I don't think she's not fashionable. If Jill Biden was in this room, I would I would know she, I would know what she looked. Jill Biden could have delivered me Uber Eats today, and I would have been like, "Hey, can we go through all the presidents of the U.S. and do Smasher Pass?" I mean, I don't know what they all look like. Jacob, we, this, this is our long podcast. We're gonna pull up photos. How? I mean, it's gonna take so long. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> But maybe we'll do a few. Give us some. I mean, off the top of my head, I know I'm smashing Abraham because he was so tall. He was like six foot something. Uh, Barack six Obama. Smash. Oh, smash. Mm, Biden. Young Biden smash. Y young Biden smash. Biden now. Smash. Pass? Pass? It was smash? Maybe the last ride of his life. <laughs> <laughs> George Bush. It's pass. Young Bush was a smash. No, he Young Bush was not even cute either. I said what I said. <laughs> uh, George Washington. Pass. No, the teeth. The wooden teeth. Pass. He had a big nose, though. Mm. Okay, I think that George, George Washington. I think that I've seen pictures of Andrew Jackson. I think he had a big dick. I don't need that in my life, but I'm just saying. All right. I was a big dick is not a deal breaker, but it can be a deal maker. Yeah, for sure. Um, let's do one more. Okay, uh, Ronald Reagan. Pass. It's a pass. Not cute. Even in his young years. Yeah, no. But he was a movie no. uh, actor. I said no. Do you remember when? Um, this might be controversial to talk about. This is a, the, the president. What, Mo? <laughs> what? <laughs> Remember when Me Too was, was happening and that video, that picture of Where Al Franken. Where is this going? The picture of Al Franken. I'm just talking, I'm talking about Al Franken? the senator. He was one of the senators. And the picture of him, like, I think, groping a woman's breast in the military thing. And then, like, right away, the Democrats are like, this is bad. We had to get this person out of, out of here. This is wrong. But it just crazy to me how the Republicans... Shit like that happens to them. They're like, no, it's fine. Like, I, I guess I want to I want to speak to the fact that. Oh my that God. And she's asleep. Yeah. Yo, this is crazy. Good. Well, you know, he's he, and I, I that so my brain made she's the connection. She's asleep. My brain made the connection that because he's a he's also he was a big, he's a comedian. You know that? I'll find like That's a big That's not fucking funny. Right. So I think it was one of those military I mean, USO tours. Subjective, I don't find that funny. So, but when that happened, the Democrat the Dems were like, this is bad. This person has to get out of here. This is wrong. Just like the toe tapper. Toe tapper? The toe tapper. I don't know what that means. His name was like Wiener. Oh, um, uh, uh, we, uh, the the governor from from New York or something we'll, like that. We'll figure it out after this break. Andrew Wiener. Anthony Wiener. Anthony Wiener. He was Democrat, right? Yeah. We'll, we'll find out after this break. Okay. Fall 
fall is here. The leaves are falling. Uh, it's turning orange and red and sh- hues. Wait, you can't you can't uh, even see none of them colors because you're colorblind. So and hues of amber. So I've been told. Um, <laughs> and life just gets much busier between working and getting back into routines with the cold weather. I'm going to be on tour. The last thing I want to do is spend hours figuring out what to do to make for dinner. That's why I've been relying on Home Chef to make my evenings easier. And I have to say, it's been a huge help with Home Chef. I have time and money, and I still get to enjoy that cozy home cooked meal feeling after a long day. What I love is just how flexible Home Chef is. Some nights when I'm in a mood to cook, I can whip up their classic meal kits with fresh pre portioned ingredients and easy to follow recipes. But on busy nights, their oven ready meals are a lifesaver. Everything comes pre chopped, so I just toss it in the oven. I let the fall vibe set in. And for those who really have hectic days, their microwave ready meals have me covered in minutes. And I love those on tour because there's always a microwave in my dressing room, honey. First of all, Bob is putting on because he been, he Bobby getting the home chef and he been he been making me come over and cook it for him. Why are you lying to these people, Bob? Actually, I bring it to your house because Monet's a good cook. Get you a friend who will cook your home chef meals for you. Get your mm-hmm. friend that can do both. Well, listen, what I recently made for my good sis, Roberta, was the hearty beef chili from Home Chef. And it was mm. perfect. Right? Wasn't it good? It was really good. Mm, it was rich, flavorful, and done in under 30 minutes. Honestly, it felt like I had been slow cooking it all day. Mm-hmm. Plus, with over 30 meal options each week, including meals that cater to dietary needs, I never get bored with cooking for my bestie. And not only does Home Chef simplify our lives, but it's easy on the wallet too. We've been saving what? About $86 a month on groceries, which is a huge yep. bonus as the holiday season approaches. So if you want to make your fall dinners easier and more delicious, now it's the time to give Home Chef a try. For a limited time, Home Chef is offering our listeners 18 free meals plus free desserts for a life. I'm going to say that again because I don't think y'all heard that. For a limited time, Home Chef is offering our listeners 18 18 free meals plus free dessert for life and free shipping on your first box. Just go to homechef.com slash robbery to get started. That's homechef.com slash robbery for 18 free meals and free dessert for life. Homechef.com slash robbery must be an active subscriber to receive free desserts. Mm. Bob, I remember the exact moment I realized it was time to get serious about my finances. I do. I was staring at my credit score, not really understanding what it meant, and it hit me. If I wanted to save for that big purchase or just get ahead financially, I had to make some serious money moves. How else are you going to pay for that BBL? Pay for the second round of this BBL. (sighs) I knew you were team meatball. I knew it. And that's when I found Chime. Chime is a game changer. I opened a Chime checking account and was blown away by the features they offer. Let me tell you, they've made taking control of your finances easier than ever. Now take this for example. Chime offers fee-free overdrafts up to $200. And I know we've all been in that spot where we swipe our cards and hold our breath hoping we don't get overdrafted. It's happened to me before. With Chime Spot Me feature, you can overdraft up to $200 on debit purchases without any fees. And your next deposit just applies to the balance. So... It's a worry-free buffer. But it's not just overdraft. Chime has no monthly fees, no maintenance fees, and access to over 50,000 fee-free ATMs nationwide. It's like they're actually on your side. And another thing I love about Chime is this sense of community. With their boost feature, you can temporarily increase a friend's spot me limit, and they can boost you back. Friends helping friends. It is a unique way to support each other financially. Make your fall finances a little greener by working towards your financial goals with Chime. Open your account in two minutes at Chime.com slash rivalry. That's Chime.com slash rivalry. Chime. Feels like progress. Banking services and debit card provided by the Bancorp Bank NA or Stride Bank NA. Members FDIC. Spot me eligibility requirements and overdraft limits apply. Boosts are available to eligible Chime members enrolled in Spot Me and are subject to monthly limits. Terms and conditions apply. Go to chime.com slash disclosures for details. All right, and we're back. Jacob, what did you find about Wiener? Sorry, there are two different ones. Anthony Wiener uh, was... Um, was his baby. It was sexting. Sexting. Democrat. Yes, he was. Yeah, sent, he oh was, yeah, he sent his, his dick pic with his Weird, baby, with, with his baby in like the shot or something like that. Crazy. Like the yeah. baby was like in also, the. Can I tell you guys right now? I, I've seen this trend of dick pics on the toilet. I don't like a dick pic on the toilet. This, oh, I'm not here to king chain, but like I think most people do not want a dick pic of you on the toilet. I hate that. I don't like it's, a dick pic. It's really on the toilet. tacky. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. Okay, so that was Anthony Weiner. Who was the other one? No, the toe tapper was um was a Republican. 
Oh, I don't even know. Wait, toe tapping is, is a way to call someone gay? When you gay? tap someone under the stall with your toe. Oh. To signal that you like to have sex with them. Can I tell you, again, no king shaming, whatever your kinks are work, I do not get the being on a, a bathroom stall under the thing where people like, there's so much urine and like people's shit and like ba- like dirty. Like the, the floor of a bathroom was so dirty and I just can't imagine getting on my knees and like letting my dick touch all of that. Like that's so wild to me. You put your dick on the floor. Yeah, yeah yes, I've seen those. Where, bitch, they be, they be under the stall like tapping the dick on the floor. That is the thing. And then, then you put that dick in your mouth after it's been on the fucking bathroom floor. I've seen them hit the stall with it. Ugh, that's even nasty too. All, all the shit juice and piss be splashing. Who Sorry, is shitting <laughs> on the walls. <laughs> you've, ne- you've never been to a public restroom and there's shit on the walls. Maybe, but it's very rare. But, I would not say walls are all the shit juice. <laughs> there's it shit is, juice out it there. It is very rare to see shit outside of the toilet uh, in public restrooms. No. In public restroom, bitch, you have never used a. If, bitch, I didn't say never. I said it is very rare. I will say every to see t- shit outside of the toilet. Every time I have used a public bathroom at Penn Station in New York City, there's shit all over the walls. Maybe you're the one doing it. If it's every time you leave the room, if you're if you're every time there at the scene of the crime, at what point do we need to know that you might be the culprit? <laughs> I see the shit juice there, girl. We need to do some DNA testing on this shit. Girl, people be ravaging, public, people be ravaging. Like, here's my question. So when, because so as a president, vice president, whatever, you have like 24-hour security. You cannot do anything ever. Like, what if like Kamala Harris is at a fucking rally and she has to like go to the restroom? And Someone follows her and says outside the restroom. Into the public restroom? I don't think Kamala Harris would use a public restroom. She'd probably but, go to her jet or she'd probably go to her bus. or she'd No, probably... she's like, if, she, if you're at a, like, let's say she's walking down Times Square doing a thing and she has to use the bathroom. Then someone will probably stand outside the bathroom and make sure no one comes in while you're shitting. Wait, is she is she using the the the, the outside bathroom at Times Square? They're taking her into the fucking employee one at H and M. I mean, she might go to one of the stores nearby. I mean, I w- I assume that if the president or the vice president, this is literally all based off assumption. I obviously don't work for Secret Services, but um, if the president or the vice president is in an area, they will probably secure a, a space for them. Like they will, they don't yeah. they don't have um they don't have mediocre accommodations. They will probably secure an entire building, get everyone out of that building. This is the head. This is our headquarters. This is where we go. They probably have a bus there for them. They have an exit plan. There's probably a fucking toilet in the fucking limo. Well, as you know, so as you know, I I was rubbing elbows. Uh, I was rubbing elbows with Roger Roger Nias, the um, U.S. ambassador to the mm-hmm. Eastern Caribbean. And he's telling me like he can't do. I think I told you this before. He can't do anything without like like his security. Like if he if he was to come to this room today, just to be, they would have to come and comb the entire room to check to make sure like someone. I'm like Grenoble. for the ambassador. I'm like, I'm going to try to kill the ambassador. He's like, yeah, that that is protocol. They have to check and scrub everything. So I can imagine you as invite him to your studio to film. I would love that. Yeah, they're gonna scrub your house. I don't care. But my studio is my studio is here. No, they they gonna find your little uh, your little your little fridge. Oh, I got rid of my fridge. It was leaking everywhere, and it ruined a lot of my mushroom chocolates. I'm so mad. Well, I've I've done mushrooms for so long. You should tell them which one not to buy. Oh, I didn't know the brand. I don't remember the brand it was. It was one on Amazon though. It started leaking? It started leaking. That sucks. I know. And it ruined a lot of my mushrooms. Are they expensive? Um, I got them from like a dispensary right here. So no, it was like $10 for the bar. But still, it was like 4 and How long does that last? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You didn't make it long enough. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had mushrooms in a while though. Um, but yeah. So again, I it sounds kind of fierce to always have like a motorcade and everyone like checking everything for you. It does. You don't think so? No. I you think, never have to sit in traffic ever again. That's not true. What do you mean that's I don't know true? if they never have to sit in traffic. But also to go somewhere is a to-do. You also can yeah. never get up and go again. Never. Like getting up and going, yeah. you're done. That's yeah. not part of your life anymore. You, I mean, you, you famously said that you have reached a level of fame that you, like, you don't want more level of fame. I don't want anymore. Do you know that uh, George Bush can only drive... So presidents can't drive themselves. Which even, is crazy. Even after they have left the presidency. That's crazy. George Bush is only allowed to drive, allowed liter- legally allowed to drive on his on his private property. What do you mean legally? So like if he if he drove, it would be illegal? Yes. Chica, can you look that up, please? So you're hold on. You're saying if George Bush drove on a public road, he could be arrested because it's illegal. I did, I did that is not what I said. But it's not what illegal. If, if you if you, you just, don't if, get arrested, right, it's illegal. To be clear, everything that you do, like you you can't, you can't double park. It's breaking the law. You, if you double park, you're not getting arrested one day. Okay, sorry. So does he get a fine or a citation or a ticket? I don't know. I don't know. And also, just to be clear, you can be arrested for it. Most will you most likely you're no. probably being arrested for something else. There are certain crimes you just can't be arrested for. 
Like, you're not going to get arrested for jaywalking. You might get arrested for your interaction with the police afterwards. But I think you could, though. Like, th- like they could arrest who they wanted to. I don't know if that's true. Yeah, uh, presidents are not allowed to uh, drive. But I'm saying, but is it illegal is a question. They're not allowed to. Like, the law, this is law. It's not like Bucky's rules. <laughs> the, like, who do you think is making the rules? I'm just saying, can we look up, is it illegal for a pre- former president yes, to drive themselves? It is. Uh, past presidents agreed the surpri- this surprising rule is one of the worst parts of running the country. I don't know if it's illegal, but it's just a rule. I mean, it's I a assume. rule of the, it's, you know what rules, when the government makes rules, they're called laws. That's what happens when the, when the government makes rules. They're called laws. I can't wait for, I can't wait for, the, for, for, for the cousins to gather in the comments. We're like, actually, Bob. What do you mean, actually? We, we, we got the answer right here. But Jacob is not saying that it's illegal. I want to hear it is illegal. Well, the, the, well, the government has this, has deemed that you are not allowed to do it. That's what, that's what, what do you, what does illegal mean to you? I don't know. I want to hear, I want to hear saying it is illegal for a president to, that's what I want to hear. But do you want me to just say it? <laughs> <laughs> you, would you feel better if I just say it out loud? They have rules and the, the president's not allowed to drive. So whether or not the word legality involves, he can't. He can't do it. He's not allowed so, to do it. So, okay, so yes, it looks like laws that apply to specific people specifically aren't unconstitutional in that kind of way. Um, it's just like a general larger rule of thumb under presidential like security and conduct. So yes, if George Bush wanted to go drive down the highway, I don't think they could arrest him. But, but I, I don't think don't... he could actually, I don't think he'd even get that far. Yeah. So what's if I get in my car, what, they're they, they gonna shoot him? The, well, Secret Services will fold you. I said they will fold your shirt while you're still wearing it. Like Secret Services will do what they have to do to protect you. Yes, they will. So you think they're going to, George and Bush, 90-year-old ass, they're going to attack him. Like, you can't do this, sir, and hurt him? I don't know what the, I'm not in the Secret Service money. I do not know. But the Secret Service, their job is to protect you at all costs. So you should look at the video of Ronald Reagan with the with the bloop bloop attempt. They, wait, 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 what, 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 what? Ronald Reagan was bloop bloop. They tried to get him. Oh. They put that nigga in a trash compactor, folded him in half, and threw him in the car. They collapsed onto that man. Collapse. It was crazy. But also, knowing you have that much protection, that's kind of fierce too. I think you and I think different things are fierce. Like you think, uh, it's, nepo- you think nepotism is fierce. No, that's not what I said. That I, is exactly what you said. I think I nepotism say? is fierce. That is verbatim what you said. Well, I, what I, particularly for black folk, because I feel like you know, black folk situationally, right? Like we're disadvantaged in so many ways. So when I see someone, like for example. I, the, the example I the, the example I've talked about was LeBron James's son, right? His son has worked really hard, and obviously, some of the advantages he is making in the league is because of who his father is. But I don't think that's nece- that's that's necessarily a bad thing. Well, I guess context matters. Yeah, context doesn't, doesn't, doesn't matter with everything, bitch. But you, you context all, always matters. All you said was, yeah, I know. That's why I said context matters. I literally, I literally, you're, you're repeating my thing back to me. But you were just like, nepotism is fierce. I was like. Interesting take <laughs> on this lovely day. Do you ever you ever think about like the fact that your your Maryland is still like is it is it's it not still, it's, it's done okay yeah got it it is it is plugged up for good there's no going back in there let's talk about some of the wild things that have happened during this during this election oh cycle they eating the dogs eating the cats have you seen I hate Taylor Swift no okay so we're, we're jumping we got we got to do one at a time y'all we got to do one at a time <laughs> so eating the dogs eating the cats so what's happening for those who do not know. A story which the woman who, who who posted the story admitted that it was a secondhand story and she had did not know if it was a rumor. She admitted that it was a rumor, and they're saying that uh that Haitian immigrants in Springfield, Ohio are eating people's pets, specifically the cats and the dogs. Yeah. And then on air, Trump was fact-checked during, like, the, this, during Ka- the debate. Kamala and presidential during the debate. presidential debate. The second presidential debate, they were like, that did not happen. The, the, we just talked to the commissioner, and he was like, that's not happening. And then, But Trump and, and J.D. Vance are doubling down on it. So then, on an interview with CNN, J.D. Vance, the lady was like, can you now just admit that it's not that that's not happening? And he was like, I don't know. There's firsthand accounts of it happening. And then she's like, and then he goes, well, if we have to make, if, if we have to create stories to bring attention to other things, we will. And she was like, are you saying that you're, did you just admit that you're creating stories? He was like, no, there's firsthand accounts. And by the way, no one's come forward with a firsthand account yet. There is an old clip of cops, I think, where a woman is eating a, um, a, a, a cat in the driveway, but it's not in Springfield, Ohio. That woman is an American citizen born and raised in America, and she's not Haitian. They just found a clip of a woman eating a cat and being like, this is her. It pisses me off so much that he can, they go on TV and say this stuff, 
Like, there should be a, a, a threshold of things that you say that it just disqualifies you from occupying public office. Because that is insane to go on live TV and say, yeah, well, I'm just saying it. Like, that is, in, like, that should disqualify you. Like, why are you still allowed to hold an office in this country or run for it when you were saying shit like that? That is crazy. They said it. And then there was also the assassination attempt. On, uh, oh, yeah, on, the air. On Donald Trump. And then, which was so crazy, his fucking supporters started wearing air bandages that looked like his in support of him. Like that. Also, his ear has, his ear has healed. This Miraculously. Thing, this thing is Wolverine. <laughs> like he is back this, to this thing is X, He's X-Men. Is he the first mutant president? Like, are we going to acknowledge that this, that, that this may have been like, is, this was a, a <laughs> say it, say it, say it. Say what you want to say. <laughs> what the fuck? Say it. <laughs> Hold my hand. We'll say it together. <laughs> One, two, three. Hoax. hoax. It's a, it, it was it's not giving, real. It's, it's giving hoax. It did not fucking happen. I don't know. We don't know. We weren't there, but it's giving hoax. And then uh, Joe Biden, not then. These are all out of order, by the way. Actually, right after that, Joe Biden dropped out of the, this is the first time an incumbent president has ever dropped out of a presidential Bid because they had the first president the the first presidential debate of this cycle between him and Donald Trump, and you know he just seemed to not cognit cognitively be there. He there seemed to be a decline of some sort, and there's a lot of pressure from from social media, uh, on social media, some of his, his peers, colleagues. yeah, and he jumped out of the race. But I will say, do you think if Joe Biden kept on in this race, do you think that we would be in the place we are now? No, I don't think we'd have as much uh, excitement around yeah. uh, the can the Democratic candidate as much as we do around Kamala Harris. Yeah. Also, Republicans will not say her name correctly on purpose. There's a clip of Donald Trump not knowing he's being recorded uh -huh. on and a he's golf course, right? and he's like, "Oh, and not to mention Kamala." Like he knows her name, and then he's like, "Come," and then once he's in front of camera, he's like, "Kamala." Like that is so crazy. But it's a tactic. They're doing it on purpose, though. And someone showed a video of Donald Trump debating Hillary Clinton. And they were like, if you look at the difference between his debate with Kamala Harris and his debate with Hillary Clinton, there is either a cognitive decline or he just doesn't feel like he has to try anymore. Because I was looking, I was like, oh my God, I, for, I was thinking to myself, I forgot that Donald Trump used to talk like this. I didn't even see it. I literally was like, I completely forgot that Donald Trump used to actually talk like this. It was it was wild. Like he sounded like coherent. Really? And, and it was like they're eating your dog. It was well, like Well, Kamala did such a good job of baiting him into things like Oh, he fell like for it every, every time. trap. Hook, Which, like she was like, and she was putting trap doors and he was just falling in all the time. No, it was it was wild. And like the, it was his obsession with size about stuff. She said his <laughs> his rallies were small and he just took the bait on that. And he just was going in about how he had the biggest rallies. And to your point about him not having to try, I think Donald Trump has proven to himself and to the American people and to his followers that it doesn't matter what he does or what he says, they're going to follow him and do his bidding. Like, they don't care. They don't care that he's making stuff up. So, like, why would he care? Like, why would he care? If I was him, I wouldn't care either. It doesn't matter what I say. It doesn't matter what I do. So, I mean, I, I, I can't... Well, I'll, I'll, I'll have to find it because I don't want to spend the time looking for it online. But someone posted a, a clip of like the difference between the way he spoke when he was debating Hillary Clinton and the way he spoke when he debated Kamala Harris. And I was like, wow, it, it's low-key giving cognitive decline. I mean... And now he's attached himself to Laura Loomer. Laura Looney. Who is... Who was a fucking Harry Potter character. So look at this meme. Uh-huh. So I don't know if this is a meme or if it's real, but apparently Laura Loomer uh, did a, an ad on her podcast... Oh, it's fake. It's oh, it's fake. <laughs> Did y'all see the lightly on a bomb either? <laughs> Ugh, I hate that. I hate that. Ah, ah, Jay, can you please rewind that? The, the, the light came out of your eyes when Jacob told you it was fake. You were like, God so damn. sad about that. <laughs> well, it, 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 it looked like I saw a thing. I didn't know if it was true. Now again, I didn't know if it was true. But it, they were saying that the Lord Luma did an ad for dog food, and she's like, "This is human grade dog food. You can actually have a bite of it." And this guy was like, I made a fake ad for dog food and paid Laura. <laughs> I will say, in the year, in the age of um, AI, it makes all of this stuff even dicier because you kind of just don't know. This is just like a picture of her. In oh, like, okay, okay, like okay. Caption. It wasn't like it was like. AI. Well, I thought that deep fakes were going to be a bigger problem for us in this election title because the deep fakes for a while were getting crazy. Or so oh, they're not getting; they are crazy. You know, it's really got the maggots in the, in the, in the, in the tizzy. 
the childless cat lady. Oh, I'm America's Taylor Swift. number one childless cat lady. She got them mad. You know what they're you know why I think they're so mad? Why? They love her music. They mm. didn't care about Beyonce. Yeah. They didn't they you know is that they love her fucking music and they feel hurt that she doesn't like them. But also last cycle she came, she 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 came on for Don, for Joe Biden so why would she why would she be a switch sider? But they forgot they love her music. They would they this this she dropped the errors to her. And they said, all's forgiven. Boys only want love if it's torture. Sydney, King, King, <laughs> Sydney. Here's a, video, Sydney. Here's a video of her doing uh, blank space. But she, she's like hitting this pole with like a cane. And she's like, Sydney. <laughs> you know what, Jacob? Sydney. Uh, uh. Sydney. Uh, uh. People are also obsessed with the, with the with the with the with the fall of Taylor Swift. Like people want Taylor, the fall Swift. Of Taylor Swift. No, people want that. Like people are like, ah. Especially a lot of beehive people. They just they, they're praying for the for the for the for the decline of Taylor Swift. I'm like, just let this girl make a fucking music. I, I don't get. It. I mean, I don't I don't listen to Taylor Swift that much, but I don't get the the people being that upset about her. I I, it, I just don't understand it. I mean, maybe, maybe she's the really a uh, monster. I just don't know about it. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm upset. This shit is so funny to me. She has the golf club. Here's a golf club, right? So Taylor Swift always does this thing. This this is Taylor Swift. She's always like, um, she's always like, Sydney, I want to try something. Are you gonna try it with me? <laughs> or she's like, one time I met a guy and it didn't work out. You might say we've got bad blood. <laughs> You're so dumb. I once met a guy. <laughs> and that is so she is so cam. Anyway, so here's the thing. Her little experiment. She has the golf club. She's walking back. We're watching it. Oh, we gotta explain it for the audio. Oh. Sydney. <laughs> Sydney. They loop it. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with this. It... Okay, can you harmonize with her? Okay. You want to hear it? And then she... Then she harmonized with herself. So you, you, the, you, you heard her do it. Then she goes... Oh, did she do it? Oh, then she's gonna, she gonna join in. And then she does it here. Then she goes. Why is only one life? It's so good. Say I didn't. Anyway, that I was every once in a while. There was there was a week where I was going around going, Sydney! You're it's such a fucking odd. Sydney! Ball. This 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 is what can I think what is is like her, she's so like kind of like Sarah playing tall. And she's kind of Sarah gangly. Plain and tall? Sarah Plain and Tall. It's like a tall, skinny white lady. Got it. And she's hitting the stick, but it's not like it's not it's not like she's like she she doesn't have like the tenacity of like it's not like Shakira or one of the girls who moves. It's just like this like tall. Anyway, she went to work. Sydney. <laughs> oh my god. You. So Taylor Swift came out and endorsed Kamala Harris. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, there's been so much madness. And then J.D. Vance, there was a rumor that J.D. Vance fucked the couch. No, it was a rumor. It, it was in his book. Uh, so it, it has not been confirmed. There is a, there is a, what I'm hearing is that it was in the original version of the book. And then he replaced that with, a. they took it out when the book got re-released. I, there are people saying here is the book. They don't know. I don't, I don't know if those are fake books. There are people who print their own books or if this is what. But there is a rumor that J.D. Vance in his book, Hillbilly Effigy. Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. Honestly. That he fucked the couch. He's like, every guy fucked the couch. And again, choosing someone like him who, had, honestly, I think he's he's done so much damage to fucking Trump's campaign. For sure. Like, what the fuck? Why would you be Donald Trump's vice president after what he did to Mike Pence? Bitch, what he said. Wouldn't J.D. Vance be like, Mike Pence, can I ask you a question real quick? Would you recommend me take this job? And Mike Pence would be like, girl, no, don't no. do it, girl. It's not worth it, girl. Don't do it. But I already because, done it. Bitch, all the shit that J.D. Vance has said about Donald Trump before this election. Talking about that he was guy. 
Yeah. That he was a never Trump guy, that he is America's Hitler. Like he's, he said all this stuff, but these people are obsessed with power. They're obsessed with trying to ascertain power in whatever way they can. They, they want to get the money in. Money. Money. I'll look a dude. Sure. sure what? Move to France. No, 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 I'm gonna stay. I'm, I know, but I'm not giving up this motherfucker. But also, the first people, they these niggas be revolting every every other year. They be tearing France and I was like, down. Good for them. They be tearing the French people. They're like, we don't like. They will tear down the city, which honestly is kind of fair. So when they are upset with the government, they will revolt and they will get how they were like, we we the people, we gave you this shit. Do what we want, which is kind of fair. Do what we are telling you to do. Good for them. I hope everything's going well in France. You know, do you think? If you were a young kid, I was a young kid once. When you, if you, if you were like going like abroad to like the Europe, did you did you have a fear about being taken? I never went. I'm saying, but like when you saw the movie, like you like did you have, did you never have dreams of going abroad and like living your life? No, really, I never thought I would leave Georgia. Really? Yeah. Okay. When did you, when did you realize that you would leave Georgia? Mm, maybe after I started traveling for the, for the uh, Missoula Children's Theater or for the uh, Climb Theater. That was the first time actually, like, I mean, I, I left Georgia a few times, but I hadn't gone past Tennessee until I was uh, in college. Got it. Yeah, I always had dreams of doing some fierce stuff and stuff. No, I was kind of like, whatever, it's fine. Really? I just live in Georgia. What do you think your life would look like now if you were straight and still living in Georgia? Straight? Straight living in Georgia. I mean, I imagine I might be a teacher. I, I, used, to, I used to want to be a teacher. Got so it. I imagine I'd probably be a teacher, maybe. With kids and shit. Yeah. I mean, I, I probably wouldn't be teaching theater. Maybe English. English. Yeah, maybe I'd be an English teacher. Got it. I would love to be an English. Well, that's not true. I would have loved to be an English teacher. I would not like to be one now. If you had to do a second act, like, what do you think? Like, like drag, you're done a with second, drag. Oh, second job? Yeah. Like, like look, you finish drag, your career in drag is over, and like, you, you're you like, I'm going to give you an age. Let's say you're 55, your career in drag is over, and you want to do a second act. Can, what I, is stay, your... can I stay in the, in the arts? Yeah, you, you whatever you want in the arts. I want to produce. Produce. Yeah. Okay. And direct work. I would maybe like spend a few years going to like a film academy or go back to school for film so I can learn a little more. Mm -hmm. um, and then I would try to produce work. How about you? What's your second gig? Um, I would I would I would go to school for dentistry. I would like to be a dentist. I love teeth, and I would love to be a dentist. Now that is a lot. I'm probably locking myself into because you have to go to like medical school, medical school, right? Yeah, they're dentists are doctors. Yeah, so. I I probably will not. If this is fifty five, I probably won't be able to dentif dentify. DDS. And, yeah, I will like be able. A dental hygienist. No, I don't get dental. No, I mean no offense. Whoa! <laughs> no offense to dental hygienist. Oh, the I, dental hygienist community watching this. That's right not what I meant. Now you're being very inflammatory. I ain't been a motherfucking dental hygienist. That's not what I said. I would want to be. Like, I, would, I would want to be a DDS. I want to be like. What does DDS stand for? D d dental. Damn. Do you know what DDS stands for? I do, but I want to let you finish it. No, you Jay, you look it up. You're the police. This is the same police. Oh, sorry. To be clear, I didn't know before. I just Googled it, but oh. now I do. Oh, God, I got it. I have it pulled up. A dental. Dental. Doctor. No, Doctor of Dental Studies. Oh, that sounds good. Doctor of Dental Studies. That sounds Survey smart. says? Doctor of Dental Surgery. Science. Surgery. surgery. Also, not all dentists are DDSs. Because not all not all no, dentists can a, do surgery. A, no, a, a a dental surgeon is different than a DDS, I believe. Well, yeah. There are two different types of doctors. There's that you can be a DDS or a DMD, a oh. doctor of medicine right. in dentistry. Doctor of medicine. So I think I want to be a DMD then. And then MD I'm not trying. To, I'm not trying to cut people's gums. MD is a shit. medical doctor. Mm -hmm. DDS is a doctor of dental surgery. You don't. DMD is a doctor of medicine in dentistry. You don't want to be you 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 wouldn't look at a second act as a lawyer. No, Bob, you love debating. Every lawyer I know said that law is actually much more boring than you think it is. They're all like, you think it's not Johnny Cochran. They're like most like ninety nine point nine percent of lawyers are not doing that Johnny Cochran shit. Most lawyers are just filing paperwork. Well, why don't you be a, a, a DA? You love arguing. I don't think I would want to be. I, when I when I I would love to be if I I would love to be that point one percent of of lawyers, but I but I end up being a fucking tax lawyer. <laughs> I end up fucking doing tax law, which is which is a which is just an accountant basically. I don't want to. Uh, that's probably some tax now that now I got the tax uh, yeah, law. Yeah, really yeah, 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 yeah. Abolish libraries. Fuck tax lawyers. What else? I would never want to be a tax lawyer. I would. Never, I, I don't think I. No. 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 Interesting. Speaking of DAs, would you like to debut your Kamala Harris impression, or is it still in the works? How about I, oh, I did it on the phone for you? 
No, you did it on the, we did the pod, on the, pod the other day. Oh, it was, it was a Patreon exclusive. Oh, that's what it okay, was. Okay, here we go. All right. Only one of us on this stage, okay, has ever served to their community, okay? When I was the attorney general for the state of California, okay, <laughs> I never asked, are you a Republican or are you a Democrat? I just said, are you? Okay. That was good. Let's hear yours. <clears throat> now, when I was a prosecutor for the state of California, okay, <laughs> I do my lap. didn't know that it takes tenacity, courage, and a lot of coconut trees. <laughs> My mom used to tell me, you think you fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then... I, I'm trying to. I, those, those are all my all my. You 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 heard all my horrible impersonations. I would say they're not great, but you know who I'm doing. Sometimes what, there, there's one of them that you that you do that you mix them up, and I'm like, girl, I think it's something between your Bernie and your Barack. One of them gets really so, funky. Uh, let me be clear. Uh, my Barack is uh, one of my uh, strongest impersonations. That is a good one. Your Bernie sounds like your Bernie becomes Gilbert Godfrey. No, That's what it no. is. Listen to me. Let me make myself incredibly clear here. My Bernie Sanders impersonation is spot on. And I think most people who hear me impersonating uh, Senator Bernie Sanders know exactly who it is that I am impersonating. Okay, it's gotten better. You, you've, you've been working on it. Well, you have to have a Brooklyn accent. Yeah. This is incredibly important to doing a proper Bernie Sanders impersonation. Yeah, well, why, why did he move to Vermont? <laughs> He's in... Uh, Bro, in? Oh my gosh, should I invite him to my show? Invite him. He, was, he was in like this. <laughs> you think I, I uh, did find your show to be rather entertaining. However, it is not a good use of tax dollars for me to be uh, engaging in such frivolous activities. Bernice Sanders. When there is a pothole on uh, this side of the street. Bernie Sanders. Jacob, I don't know if he wants to do it, but Jacob has a Ben Shapiro. Do you know Ben Shapiro? Well, yeah, girl. He, he's come for me so many times on Twitter. Really? Yes, I don't know why. Two things. He's a crush. Probably. Hello. Wait. I don't really know who his voice sounds like, though. Hello, and thank you for inviting me to your house wedding party. As a present, I have brought sparkling cider and misleading statistics. That's a pretty good Ben Shapiro. I don't know what he sounds like. He sounds much like that. Kind of squirrely, skinny. He sounds like he looks. Got it. He has a swiper, no swiping type of voice. Is he... Am I making a... Did he... Um, date Candace Owens is that a thing no he hired Candace Owens at the Daily Wire he owns the Daily Wire or he's yeah. a major stakeholder in the in the Daily Wire and he also is the one who I, I don't know if he's the one but they they turned on her real quick because she's pro-Palestine is she yeah she's very pro-Palestine well maybe her one fucking redeemable quality because she's a fucking garbo human being did you see J-Lo donated like $4 million to Palestinian aid? Work. And everyone's like, maybe she is a good singer. <laughs> people are so, I can't with the J-Lo thing. How people, it, boys, <laughs> only want. Well, have you seen that her and Ben Affleck have responded together again after filing for divorce? I didn't know they filed for divorce. Yes, after two years of marriage. And now they were spotted together to, like yesterday. Yeah, sign on the papers. No, they were like out and about, which is so, Fucking honestly, some public. people just did not, just don't get married. Why does everyone need to get married? I'm not trying to get married, so I'm I'm with you. Okay, you. We've discussed getting married before, but we're like, we're in, we we have no plan. We've like, yeah, we'll do it. I mean, to be honest, a big part of me and Jacob getting married was so that my mom could see it. That was a that was the one of the biggest parts of getting married, so that my mother could. We were going to do it at the house, so at the in the basement, so my mom could see it. That was like one of the main reasons I was I was wanting to get married. Jacob, do your parents care if you get married? Oh yeah, well um, they want grandchildren, but they don't care about a wedding. But they have a grandchild now. That's not. That's not. That's not the issue. Never enough. <laughs> never. Never. Never enough. For me. For, for me, me. For me. me. Okay. No, do full voice. No head voice. Come on. Don't be. Don't be. A, don't be. Don't be a wimp. Don't I'm not warmed up today. I'm never not enough. Never enough. Never. Full voice. That is. Never. Never. Chest voice. <laughs> never, never enough. enough. Never, yeah, never, never enough for me. The keychain. For me, for me. Oh, the 
stars of a thousand in the spotlight. <laughs> All the stars you steal from the night sky will never be. That song will murder you. A girl. Learn all red. She's so good. I heard her sing it live a few times. It's always so good. I'm lightheaded. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I am dizzy. <laughs> Literally dizzy in this moment. For me, for me. Okay, uh, yeah, it's it's hard to sing. It's a hard sing, girl. Have you seen a video of, of um, Adina Menzel trying to um, sing her song? And she's like, she tries like seven I times. I commend her. No, for sure. She was like, girl, I'm not doing this shit. <laughs> it was it's hard. But she's be honest, be like, ah! She's like slightly under the pitch, and I'm like, that it, it takes a very big singer to be like. Is she doing I, Into the Unknown or is she doing uh, Let It Go? I think it was Into the Unknown. The past is in the past. Let it go. It was. It wasn't Let It Go. I think it was. I was. I into think it was the Into the Unknown. Then. Yeah. Into the Unknown. No, it was Let It Go. Into was the it? Unknown. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we had was at the end. Just, 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 just. <laughs> The tug, the tug is part of it. <laughs> All right, we're getting out of here, y'all. In go a few, vote. go to vote.org, register to vote. You can vote early. I'm doing it tomorrow. You do not have to vote on election day. You can vote. You can't vote after election day. Yeah, but you can vote before election day. You can do a mail in ballot. You can yes. go to a. You can go in person to vote if you if you don't if if the mail in ballot scares you. You can vote early. And if you are a college student, make sure you are doing this. I, it, especially if you're 18, your first time voting, not even realizing, you have to, not unless you have plans on driving home or flying home, make sure you can vote early or vote from school wherever you're doing it. And obviously you can't vote during Thanksgiving break. The election is over by then. Yeah, so girl. do it before. Yeah. Mary. All right. And thank you for coming to our TED Talk. Also go to um, Black Voters Matter. Yeah. And support. Black people, y'all need to be on Nola's Ice Cube. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye.